In most cases, the customers choose to use SOA because they look at it as a mechanism for business enablement. So in general, there are drivers, business drivers, and we normally correlate them against actual business metrics. What so, metrics does the CEO see, and how do we translate that from a governance perspective? Uh, I think its potential is absolutely huge. And that is exemplified in the agility that they are able to demonstrate because uh, they can respond quicker to changes. Sudden rapid change, agility, that's the main driver. There's a conception that reuses the main driver. That's a conception and a misconception. If you look at the service as a business point of view, looking at a, as a business service perspective and then an application service perspective, it will be even deliver more value for the business to define the service levels that they want to achieve. And it's important for both to have governance, because if you don't have governance, you, you don't have reuse, you don't have standards. Uh, time to market trumps all of those values the return you get from being able to move in your business. Well, I think that uh, ultimately SOA, big data, and cloud will become ubiquitous. We won't be talking about it as if they're new initiatives that will be foundational computing concepts which you know, you'll learn in, in your computer classes and you really won't think twice about using it. It's using all of the techniques of good service-oriented architecture as just the way we do things. I think one of my favorite quotes is, the hype is over, now we can get value.